already subscribed to the channel, it is free. The Embraer C390 is a medium size, twin engine jet powered military transport aircraft in production by Brazilian aerospace manufacturer Embraer. C390 able to perform aerial refueling and to transport cargo and troops. It is the heaviest aircraft the company has made to date and will be able to transport up to 26 tons of cargo, including wheeled armored fighting vehicles. In April 2007, Embraer reported it was studying a medium sized cargo aircraft, with the company designation C390. The transport aircraft is to incorporate many of the technological solutions from the Embraer E-Jet family series and feature a rear ramp for loading and unloading a wide range of cargo. On April 14, 2009, Embraer was awarded by the Brazilian government for a $1.5 million contract to develop and build two prototypes. At the program launch, the design was all new, with a new fuselage cross-section, wing, engine and flight deck, beyond the E-190 limited wing surface and engines to replace the operating envelope of the Brazilian Air Force's C-130s. In Embraer's view, the jet engine is sufficiently resilient to dust ingestion, whereas propeller tips close to the ground are susceptible to damage. Embraer also chose the IV-2500 engine for efficiency in normal conditions rather than performance in unusual conditions like the Antonovan 32. In March 2010, Embraer drew up a development schedule, with the first prototype aircraft scheduled to be delivered in late 2014. In July 2010, during the Farnborough Air Show, the Brazilian Air Force announced it will order 28 C-390s and Embraer announced an increase in the cargo capacity to 21 tons. In August 2010, Argentine Defense Minister announced that Argentina will participate in the construction of the aircraft. On 24 August, the Defense Ministers of Chile and Brazil signed an agreement for Chile's and Air Company to join the C-390 industry team. Colombia also signed an agreement to join the program. On September 10, 2010, the Defense Minister of Portugal signed an intentions letter to join the program. On December 14, 2011, Brazil and Portugal agreed a defense partnership with engineering components to be built by Embraer's Portuguese subsidiary OGMA. The program planned two prototypes. The first prototype rolled out from the Embraer plant, at Sao Paulo on October 21, 2014, and flew for the first time on February 3, 2015. In July 2015, the company announced a two-year delay in the flight test program, citing the devaluation of the Brazilian currency and government spending cuts. However, a second test flight took place at Gavial Peixoto on October 26, 2015. With the resumption of flight testing, the manufacturer expected to certify the aircraft in 2017 and begin deliveries in 2018. The eight months between test flights were used to conduct ground vibration tests to validate aeroelastic models, as well as avionics, mission, landing gear and electric and hydraulic flight control system testing. Embraer has reported good availability for testing, sometimes doing two flights per day. The second prototype was finished in March 2016 and made the first flight on April 28, 2016. The third C-390 built-in first production aircraft first flew on October 6, 2018. After 1,900 flight hours in testing, the C-390 received Brazilian Civil Type certification on October 23, 2018. The Hungarian government and Embraer signed a contract for the acquisition of two new generation multi-mission transport aircraft Embraer C-390 Millennium, in its air-to-air -air refueling configuration, designated KC-390. Additionally, pilots and technicians training, as well as other services and support, are included in the contract as part of the process to strengthen the Hungarian Defense Forces capabilities specifically on the tactical airlift, air-to-air -air refueling and medical evacuation roles as well as in other missions of public interest. Deliveries are scheduled to start in 2023. When you look at the C-390 you can think that its main rival is Antonov and 178, because they look very similar. But the main rival of the C-390 is C-130 as like Brazilian Air Force has choice. But first look at the N-178. N-178 has a similar appearance with high wings and the turbofan engines. While the N-178 struggling with the lack of parts due to the Russian conflict, Western companies came to help Antonov to continuing the production. So the production line became active at least for one aircraft which was ordered by Peru. N 178 can carry up to 18 tons payload, which is very similar with C 130. 
C-130J can carry up to 19 tons. When we compare the prices C-130J is the most expensive option with more than 67 million US dollar. Embraer C390 is cost about 50 to 55 million dollar which will be much less for governments with multi orders. Lastly, an 178 cost between 40 to 70 million US dollars due to the lack of production actually cost for Antonov is not a certain thing. What do you think about C390? Do you want to see C390 in your air force?